<laughs> Hi, my name's Izzy Clifford and I'm a mate um, on the Bittens team and I'd like to share with you some thoughts I've been having over the last couple of days. I was tidying my room and I found a bracelet with the letters WWJD on it and that stands for what would Jesus do? So I immediately thought, what on earth would Jesus do in this situation? And I, then I remembered, Jesus was actually quite lonely during the Bible. Um, he often went away to pray um, from everybody else to hear God's voice, um, to seek his guidance when he was worried, when he was scared. Um, and I think that can apply to our situation at the moment. Um, when it's quieter, you can hear people more, can't you? Um, and when it's loud, like in a concert, you have to shout for someone to hear you if they even can. Um, so I think in this situation that we're in now, um, we'll be able to hear God's voice a bit more about what he wants for us, what his plans are for us, um, and we can follow Jesus's model in that. And the second thing was that the most loneliest time that Jesus experienced was on the cross. Um, but he went through it knowing what was going to happen the other side. Um, there's a verse in a book called Hebrews in the New Testament that says, um, For he endured the shame and scorn of the cross because he knew the joy of knowing me and you. I think that's amazing um, that he went through all that pain and all that suffering and that loneliness. Um, he even shouted, my God, my God, why have you left me? Um, and that he knew that joy was going to come, that, that we, and we can, I think we can use that in our life at the moment. Um, that although we're going through this painful and um, quite sad time, um, that we know that there's joy coming um, this won't last forever um, and that through hearing God's voice in this time of quiet um, God will make us stronger um, for the life that he's planned for us after this has all ended.